Alright. If I could pick another name for Time Bomb. No. When I realized that Time Bomb was going to be the way that it is. Um, I, I think that this song is one of those ones that I think writers hope for. Maybe it's one of the greatest feelings when you just have something that comes out as fast as it does. And it just, it felt like the, the title was immediately appropriate. The first lyrics for Time Bomb were the first line, I want it so bad I fight to lose it. Want it so bad I fight to lose it. try to do the most is listening to different uh, experiences, conversations, um, and thoughts of other people and just sharing them across the board is a lot, is really where all the songs come from. I think it's, I think it's my experiences and listening to others and then, you know, it's, it's something, I think that's what makes it relatable itself. What? I think there was a lot of introspective thoughts going into um, the actual lyrics and I spent a lot of time making sure that those things were phrased correctly uh, for me. and. You know, I think I adjusted those for a bit, but it was time bomb from the beginning as far as I'm concerned. It's always time bomb. Still is. Next question. This is good. This is a good exercise. Uh, what you don't know is we're going to crop all this shit up. We're make it look like this was some plan to pull you all dang. Which comes first, the lyrics or the music? The music always comes first for me. Um, I think I tried to do the lyrics to match the music once, and I did like it but I don't think that it was um, something that I would continue on doing. I like when you set yourself up to have the lyrics kind of meet in the middle with the music or somewhere in between, so you have an expectation of where the music is. And I think that's where the, demo, the demos are um, come from, you know? Uh, just shouting out what it sounds like and like putting in the computer and then somehow it just sticks and it becomes a theme or a topic immediately. Because, you know, it's, it could be like an everyday thing an idea or even a, an object, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can draw meaning out of it one way or the other. And does that answer the question? Yeah. Theme or feeling of time bomb. Looking for some type of, some, some answers and, and you don't have anyone with you and maybe you prefer it that way. And what ends up happening is you're just like shouting at something. Um, just to get it out, and it's kind of a very intimate song, um, very personal, coming from like a, you know, kind of an addictive mind, and all the things that you that you go through while you're, you know, striving to get to a certain place, and you know, it's, uh, yeah. Next question. No. Pass. Pass. Oh, Time Bomb was actually the last sessions, and it was one of the last songs. Um, do I plan on remixes? Yeah, I mean, I'd love to hear what that would be. There's a lot of layers. There's certainly a lot to go to choose from um, when you strip the vocal away. There's a lot going on. It's, uh, I don't even know how many tracks. Poor Howie. <laughs> yeah. Probably about 72 guitar tracks at a minimum. <laughs> I think Time Bomb certainly represents something different for everyone, and I think that's the whole point. Yeah, I think it kind of thematically ties in a lot of the sentiment involved in the record in the first place. Um, 
so it is a good re reference point, I think. Uh, and, let me try that again. I think what I'd like for people to understand the most about this song in particular is it's... Well, I actually don't even know. Okay. It's not up to me, really. I don't think it should be. I just wrote it. That's it. Now I can play right. Yeah. Yep.